A year ago, massive floodwaters claimed 20 lives and destroyed the town of Waverly. Tonight marks a historic milestone in its recovery. Welcome to News 2 at 10. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilgus. Tonight, finally getting back to normal. Friday Night Lights back on for the first time in a year at Waverly Central High School. News 2's My Owens was there and shows us what this meant for those in the community. Tonight, not only marking the beginning of a new football season, but something new in general here in Waverly. It's a huge milestone moving forward after those devastating floods one year ago. It's the quiet sound of a field struck by tragedy where so many strangely find comfort. It's beautiful. I mean, it's home. For Ryan Edwards, it's always been just that. Even when flood waters swallowed the entire town, one thing remained on his mind. I came out here with two of my buddies. We wanted to clean up. We immediately started picking trash up, bottles, anything that we saw, we were starting to pick it up. Then one of our other coaches showed up and he said, look, get off the field, we can't play on it. And then that broke us. The field he spent four years of his life on was washed away. After a while it settled in that you're not gonna play here. And a lot of our kids that graduated last year, you know, missed out on a lot. Tragedy quickly turning to triumph. People everywhere lending a hand to help. And, uh, here's football season, this is what we do, and then all of a sudden, you know, it, it turns into let's help our community and let's go fix what we can fix, help where we can help, and then, you know, football will be here when it, when it comes back. And boy, <laughs> is it back. <laughs> For the first time in a year, Waverly football is back home. We weren't sure when we, if we would get to play. Uh, the field has not been down uh, probably any more than, uh, I don't know, six, six weeks. So it takes a lot of time. So there, there was a little air of uncertainty. So the fact that we're getting to play, and especially with a big rivalry like Camden, uh, it's, it's really special. And I know those guys are extra excited to be here tonight. Each player receiving their own welcome, walking through a crowd of support. Look at our stadium. You know, that's something they're always going to remember. We did the same thing at the Titan Stadium. Just, you know, look at the amount of support that's here for you. This is why you work as hard as you do. It may be just a game, but for this community, it's more than that. This means the world to them. Being able to play with my boys and uh, getting to cherish those moments and memories, uh, you'll never forget them, ever. There's, uh, there's nothing like Friday Night Lights. In Waverly, my Owens, News 2. And to top off this historic night, the Waverly Central Tigers, they're up 40 to 14 against their biggest rivals, the Camden Central Lions. Now, News 2 covered every angle of this historic flooding in the past year. You can find all of our stories on our website at WKRN.com. Just search the keyword Waverly.